Hi everyone, how's it going? Search through here and welcome to Max Studio A for the first live stream session on how to connect your ATEM Mini Pro to v and VLC player and BitFocus Companion all connected to the Stream Deck for easy uh, pressing buttons etc. This is a very easy uh, installation and my personal preference of how, how I would like to run a VLC server to stream uh, via Stream Deck. I've got a Mac Mini and I'll be uh, installing VLC, only VLC running on the Mac Mini and I've got an output, HDMI output to HDMI input to the ATEM Mini Pro. So uh, let's get on on part one. It comprises of two parts. Part one is setting up the VLC server. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download VLC for Mac or Mac Silicon. I've already downloaded it, so I'll just go to my downloads folder and begin the installation process. I'll just drag the VLC to the Applications folder and just wait for the installation and then close the installation uh, app. Incidentally, one thing about VLC, anytime you change or update anything, you always have to save, quit the application and relaunch it. So, with everything installed, I'll relaunch, I'll launch the VLC player and do some uh, tweaking or setup procedures. Go to the uh, preferences as shown. I'll just change it to dark mode and then enter a password that you're going to need when you uh, run the VLC from your Stream Deck. Now, as you can see, I've, after ins uh, changing everything, relaunch VLC and again do any modification. The next thing I want when the video plays is to go into full screen uh, mode and again after changing that save, quit VLC re and relaunch it. I know it might seem a bit tedious but the end result is going to be well worth it. So as you can see, the name of the video that's played is showing when I go into full screen, which is not what I want. So therefore, again, go to the preferences, go to the on-screen display, and disable the OSD. Again, save, quit, and relaunch the VLC uh, player, and see if there's any other issues. So after dragging uh, some more the clips before, now I've got the player full control of the player showing on the video. Again, I don't want that. So what we're going to want to go is go back to preferences and uh, go to the part where we can disable that uh, function. So again, launch preferences, press the show all button on the video and go to interface and for the Mac OS and disable show full screen controller. Again close VLC and relaunch it and populate it with clips that you want. Let's see if that works. Exactly what we want. Final thing to do is to make sure that your display for the uh, external monitor is set to extended display as shown here and believe it or not that's all it is for part one VLC server is all set up all you have to do anytime you want to uh, add clips make sure to add the uh, or append the name of your video with one two three four five and it's much easier for VLC to sort or filter what video has to be played uh, next. 
Now for part two, we're going to install and uh, download and install BitFocus Companion and then the plugin for the BitFocus Companion and the Stream Deck and then set, do some settings on the BitFocus uh, GUI which I'll be showing you shortly. So the next thing to do is to go to part two. So the next thing on your computer that you're running, your ATEM and all the other software, you're going to want to download, which is the one I'm working on now, download BitFocus Companion. I've already downloaded it and I'll be including all the links for VLC and BitFocus Companion at the end of this stream in the description below. I'll just go over head over to the downloads. Then I'll drag the BitFocus Companion app to the Applications folder. Next, I'll just bring up Stream Deck app and I'll basically check what's necessary or what's needed for BitFocus Companion to run on Stream Deck. Basically check the plugins and as shown here, I'm just going to type com and it shows that you need to make sure that the BitFocus app is first uh, running which we've just done everything's good to go there and now i'll just create a hotkey for bitfocus companion because you'll be using that all the time that you want to run the vlc or the atem uh, controlling the atem on the stream deck as you can see i'll just launch bitfocus it's saying that it's unrecognized developer i don't know if you're familiar with that just give it the permission via system preferences and say allow this uh, app to be installed. After giving it the necessary permission, you should be good to go. So I'll just finish adding the password, making sure. And there we go. Now we'll just uh, open anyway. Just any. Now we'll just launch. When BitFocus Companion launches, click on the Launch GUI. I haven't changed any of the settings, and I'll just rearrange the uh, windows so you can get a better view of what's going on. There we go. Now. Let's see what we have to do. The next thing, oh, now we can install the plugin for the uh, Stream Deck. So, first part is uh, installing the BitFocus app, now the plugin, and make sure to choose Install Profile. As you'll see, it gets dynamically populated. Check out the Stream Deck screen and the one on the left hand side, you will notice it will get populated with pages from 1 to 99 that you can set commands to run from the Stream Deck via Companion, which I'll be showing you in just a moment. Now, those are working, they're connected, the Stream Deck plugin is working. Now we've got to go to the next part of it, which is instances. Instances are where you create a communication with the Stream Deck and Big Focus. So the, for the first one as shown, there's a uh, instance for Blackmagic Design and it's asking for the IP address. I'll open my Mac Mini and uh, my ATEM Pro iOS and go directly to the setup and copy the IP address I have. Also, Optional, you can put whatever name you want in your BitFocus label. I'll copy the same that I've got on the A10 Mini Pro. As shown here. Ne next, apply the changes. And if everything's good to go, you'll see this. OK, the status is ready. Now, the next thing we're going to be wanting to do is an instance for the VLC. Again, do a search, and I know that my 
Mac Mini, the IP address is as shown here, yours will be different. Enter the password that you set earlier on the server. Click the box if you've got a good connection. And again, apply. Both working, status, good, everything's A-OK. -okay. Now for the fun stuff. Each of the instances has got previews or presets. And for the ATEM, you can see the presets that reflects what you've got on your ATEM uh, Mini Pro are populated with the preview as well as the program buttons. And dynamically, you can see the Stream Deck being updated, which is, I think that's the best part of it. Next, I'll just rename the page to ATEM. And that's uh, the ATEM instance for Stream Deck. Minimal uh, taken care of. I can add more buttons accordingly. Next, I'll look at the preset for VLC. And again, I'll go to a new page. And I'll install the player, pause, stop, and the full screen as shown here. Now that takes care of that. And also for the playlist, which also gets updated dynamically from the server, all those names of what you're seeing, or if you can see it, are all the file names of, of my playlist on the VLC server. Next, I'll want to, when the I'll create a button that when the clip is playing to show a timer. Very easy. Just create a new button. Check out the variables for VLC as shown here. And you'll notice that there's one for remaining time for the playing item. I'll copy that to the button. So, there we go. The instance name is VLC. If you look at uh, my uh, modules, VLC is what's the name. And as you can see, after changing the font, the timer shows. Next, I think I'll also include a button that goes directly to the VLC uh, configuration on my Stream Deck. Again, create a new button. I'll just label it VLC. Change the font if necessary. And now I'm going to change the surface that I'm currently on to the VLC page or surface. To do that, you just have to do the key down action and pick surface to page. And I know that the, the page for the VLC is page two. I haven't labeled it yet, but I will do. Seems to work. All good to go. Okay, the next part that we're gonna be needing is to make sure that uh, we, I think I'm gonna add, you can, Check out the VLC, everything is nice there. I'll just relabel the page. And now the same button can be used into two function for, uh, on the ATEM page. One to, to go to the page and also to display a time while the clip is playing. To do so, all I've got to do is go to the button and append it with a or append it with a slash n, which terminates the command for VLC, and then copy and paste the command that you had on your VLC for the timer onto the uh, VLC button. And as shown, you can see the timer. Next, I'll pick two favorite clips that I want that I can access anytime I want. Again, create a new button. I'll uh, play clip one, which I want to be played anytime I want. So you choose the clip that you want. And then I'll also create one for play clip three, as shown here.
everything seems to are labeled that again play clip three choose the clip number which will be three and that's uh, set to go so anytime i press that button it will play uh, the clip that i want now the next thing i'm going to want to do is tie in the buttons for the playlist to the ATEM uh, Mini Pro itself. To do so, go to each button and click what you want when you press button, uh, in my case on the ATEM Mini Pro is one, or camera one, what you want it to do. Basically, I want it to go straight to the program. You can choose for it to go to the preview window of your multi-view or go straight to program. In this case, I'm going to try program. I'll probably change it to preview as I can uh, quickly select which clip I want. You do that for each of the buttons that's, uh, that you created on the uh, VLC page. And once that's complete, I'll check everything and yeah, it looks like I can close everything. Nope, there's one more. I haven't done the one for the play clip one and play clip three. So again, like you did before, when I press uh, clip three or on the ATEM uh, button, the camera one button, it will get triggered to go to program. And that's all. I'll hide the uh, clip, close everything that I don't need. Oh, incidentally, whenever, anytime BitFocus Companion creates a profile, it names it default profile. I'm going to rename it to ATEM Deck and then have a hotkey that goes straight to the ATEM uh, page for bit focus onto the stream deck so change the profile there atem deck and that's it now anytime i press uh, clip three the uh, software or the server will trigger and believe it or not that's all there is to setting it up everything works perfectly and no streaming issues and if uh, you like this episode this live stream episode give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so really helps me to continue and thanks for watching peace